So in today's video, I want to show you how you can use the Bosch GT1000 core in combination with your favorite valve amplifier. Now we're going to use the fantastic effects loop routing options on the Bosch GT1000 core with my Blackstar 40 watt valve amplifier over here. Now we're going to use the four cabling method in order to connect both the amplifier and the GT1000 together to kind of get the best of both worlds. We've got the fantastic effects processing capabilities of the Bosch GT1000 core in combination with a more traditional guitar setup with this fantastic preamp that's present on this Blackstar valve amplifier. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video to learn how you can control all of the channel switching between the clean and overdrive channels on your valve amplifier simply by using the Bosch DT1000 core. So let's begin with the actual cabling method that we're going to use in today's video. Now we're going to use the famous four cable method. So that means you're going to need four cables. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to use the awesome feature on the Bosch GT1000 core, which is the effects loop. Now the Boss GT1000 core and my amplifier behind me here both have an effects loop, which means it's going to allow us to separate our distortion style sounds that you usually put into the front of the amplifier to push the preamp. We're gonna be able to separate those from our time-based effects like delays, reverbs, all that type of stuff. So it's going to allow us to get the best possible results out of our amplifier and the Boss GT1000 core. Now the really cool thing about the Boss GT1000 core is the fact it actually has two effects loops. So this means you could repeat this setup process twice with a second amplifier for a stereo setup, which is absolutely insane. A lot of versatility and flexibility present within this really small guitar processing unit. So in terms of the connections, this is what we're going to do. Now, obviously you're going to want to input your guitar through the Bosch GT1000 core to utilize the effects. So let's first begin with that connection. Now, before we plug anything into the Bosch GT1000 core, I want you to make sure that you turn down your output level down to zero, and also you have your amplifier on either standby or turned down to zero as well to avoid any feedback, popping, clicks, in case you do the cabling wrong and you end up damaging your hearing. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our very first cable into the mono right input on the Bosch GT1000 core. So this means we're gonna send a mono input into the unit because obviously our electric guitars are mono because it's a single cable. Now from here, this is where it starts to get a little bit confusing and complicated, but I'm gonna try my best to break it down for you so you can follow the steps and get the results that you actually want. So here we're actually going to utilize the effects loop one on the back of the Boss GT1000 core. And what we want to do from this point is we want to send a signal into our amplifier of choice, which is my black star behind me here. So obviously we're currently inputting audio into the Bosch GT1000 core, but we now need to send that audio into the preamp section of our amplifier that we want to use this in combination with. So we want to utilize send one on the back of the Bosch GT1000 core and we'll connect our guitar jack cable. And then we want to take the other end of that cable and plug that into the input of our guitar amplifier. So that's obviously into the preamp section of the amp. So then that means we can use all of the tone features, the overdrive, all that type of stuff on our amplifier. Now to make the next few steps as easy as possible for you to follow along with at home, I've decided to use multiple different colored cables so you can easily see the uh, destinations of all the cables where they're going from out of the GC1000 core and going into the back of my amplifier. So obviously what we want to do is now, now that we've sent the signal from the GT1000 core into the preamp section of our amplifier, we now want to return some audio from the amplifier back into the GT1000 core. So then we can start building up the actual loop between the two devices and start using the effects on board of this uh, unit over here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this red cable and I'm going to connect this into return one on the back of the GT1000 core. And then we'll take the other end of this and we will connect it into the amplifiers effects send. So we're now going to use the effects loop on the back of the amplifier. So we're gonna go from the amp send into the GT1000 core return. So you can see how we're starting to build up a loop with all of these different cables that we are using within this setup. So for the final cable, we want to connect that into our master output. And we're going to use the right master output because this one is mono. So we'll connect that to the mono out. And then the other end of this cable will go into the effects loop return. So we'll plug the other end into the effects loop return. 
Now you may actually be wondering why would you want to run the Bosch GT1000 core like this in combination with the traditional amplifier? Aren't amplifiers just dead heavy, cumbersome, and the Bosch GT1000 core is a super lightweight solution that can do both your amp modeling and also all of your effects in one tiny unit. And that's 100% correct. However, there may be a specific use case where you require more out of the amplifier than what the Bosch GT1000 core can do. Like for example, you may have a specific valve amplifier that you absolutely love the way it feels, responds, and the way the preamp works in combination with your guitar, and you still want to use your Bosch GT1000 core for all of its effects power that it's capable of. This is where this setup is ideal, and especially as well if you're playing on a much larger stage and you have frequent access to brilliant amplifiers with fantastic preamps, you may as well capitalize on the fact those amplifiers are available with your Bosch GT1000 core in this four cabling setup method. Now there are some settings that we do need to tweak on board the Boss GT1000 core to get the best possible results out of this setup. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to use uh, patch one, which is a premium drive, and we're gonna head into the effects section. So we'll click effects, and you can see here, we can see our signal chain. So obviously we can scroll around with the select dial over here, we can turn things on and off, and move things around within the chain, depending on what we're actually trying to achieve. But the area of interest is all the way over here. So we want to head over to this divider. Now we're going to just leave the divider in single at the moment, we're just gonna run one amp patch on the GT1000 core. But where it starts to get interesting is actually the preamp section of the GT1000 core over here. So you can see how I have it set up right now is as follows. Now I've deactivated the preamp on the Boss GT1000 core because obviously you don't want to send a preamp into a preamp because you're probably gonna get loads of white noise, loads of hissing. You may get the desired results that you want, but it's not gonna be what you expect because obviously the whole point in this setup is to use the preamp of your valve amplifier that you absolutely love. So what you want to do is you want to disengage and deactivate the onboard boss preamp. So you can see you can we've got preamp one here. We can just simply select it, switch it off. Now from here, you can tweak other settings as well, the equalizer, noise suppressor, whatever you want to do. However, you need to make sure that you turn this setting on over here, which is the send and return for obviously our effects loop one. So this will be switched off by default and you'll probably have something that will look very similar to this if you're uh, customizing this patch for the very first time. So we want to turn the preamp off and turn the send and return to on. So now what this is going to do is, it's going to allow us to run all of our effects on the GT1000 core through the effects loop on the black star behind me here to get some insane results and it sounds unbelievable. setting that I want to share with you is what you could call pure magic in terms of what the Bosch GT1000 core is doing. This is perfect for all of the power users out there that want to squeeze literally every single feature out of their GT1000 core. Now if your amplifier you're using in this setup has channel switch capabilities, for example it's got a clean channel and a overdrive channel and you can switch between those, you can actually set up the Bosch GT1000 core to control your channel switching of your valve amplifier. Absolutely crazy and I want to show you this in action. So you can see right here we have this control foot switch on the Boss GT1000 core. Now we can customize this foot switch to do a variety of different things. You could set it up to be tap tempo or something in terms of manipulating the effects on the unit or you could set it to be your channel switch on your valve amplifier. So the way we do this is actually inside of the menu button over here. We're gonna head over to hardware settings. 
So from this point, we want to dive into the other menu right at the end of hardware settings. So we're going to click the fifth dial over here to select the other parameter. And you can see there's loads of different things inside of this menu that we can customize. And the one we're interested in customizing is control for five settings. So this is the control pedal connection on the side of the Boss GT1000 core. Now by default, this will be set to be control in, which usually means you can plug an external foot switch into the Bosch GT1000 core for extra foot switches that you can map to do a variety of different settings. However, we want to change what it actually does. And we can see, you can see there's loads of different things we can choose from. We want to change this to be amp control. So from this point, we can now connect another guitar jack cable into the side of our Bosch GT1000 core and then plug that cable into the back of our amplifier into the foot switch connection. And then from this point, we can use control pedal one on our GT1000 core to do all of our amp switching, which is really cool. Now, if for some reason your channel switch control isn't working correctly, you may want to check one final setting, dive into the controller sign over here, go into control function, and then you want to just maybe check this function here for control one. So you can see here, we can enter this third menu by clicking this fourth button. And you can see we can change the functionality and the assign on control pedal one just simply by scrolling through this menu. So you just wanna make sure it's selected to be amp control one, select that, and it will allow you to do the channel switching on your amplifier as demonstrated in today's video. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because I've got much more Boss GT1000 core content planned coming in the future. So turn the notification bell to on so you get notified when I upload those videos. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.